recording. Okay, so today we're making one of the easiest meals ever, and it's healthy too. So first we have one, and it's easy to clean up. This is the best ever. So um, first I put a little bit of olive oil on the pan, and then I take these salmon pieces, I don't know, fillets, um, and I'm going to just put them around here. I'm wiping them off just because if there's any little moisture, it's just, just like meat, it's, um, if they're dry is when they can really cook up and brown nicely. Um, these, that one's a big piece, maybe I'll cut it in half. So I had the, the fish person take off the skin, there was skin on the back, and when you're grilling, it's nice to have the skin. I'm just going to broil this for a little bit, and then my kids don't really like the skin, so I'm going to leave it off. And then here's my last piece, but like I said, this one is pretty wide and a lot wider than the other one, so I'm going to cut that one in half right now. Let me just get a knife. So we have our salmon, we have the protein here, and then we're just going to put a bunch of uh, veggies on the tray with it, so cleanup is super easy. And so you have to pick vegetables that can, the salmon's only going to take 10 minutes under the broiler, so you sort of need vegetables that can also cook in 10 minutes, of course. But um, I have done this with potatoes, too, but I cook the potatoes for a little while before I put them into the pan, and then I just put them in for 10 minutes, and they uh, get nice and browned up also. I'm going to cut, cut this piece as I was looking um, a little skinnier also. Um, and then that's good. So people can always have two pieces, but if they can't finish their one piece, that's no good. I should be doing this on a cutting board, but that's fine. All right, so then we have those uh, pieces of salmon, and then I'm going to just wash my hands really quick, and I'm going to get ready my vegetables. So again, like I said, you want vegetables that can just cook up in 10 minutes. Well, asparagus is a great one. Hold on. Why don't you look at the salmon for a second while I get a little pan. Alright, so I'm going to use this, which you don't need to use this, but I'm just using a bowl where, uh, one, I'm going to add a bag from the grocery store, but I'm going to take the ends off the asparagus. You can oh, do it with the knife. Huh? That's going to get mad at me. Because you're doing it that yeah. way. So turn it. So, um, you can cut these off with a knife, but they also just break right at the spot that you need to them to, and it's not very hard to do it, so I just grab a bunch and let them break off wherever they need to and put them into my bowl because I'm going to put the salt, pepper, and season these things in here. And so what else? Um, so I have my asparagus. I brought some squash here. And actually I'm going to grab some cherry tomatoes. So it's what I do it with different things pretty much every time just because it's what you have around, what you want to use up. These are delicious. These little cherry tomatoes are very sweet and when they are in the broiler, all their sugar comes out and they like burst and even create a little sauce that sort of the salmon with the olive oil can is good. So I just rinsed them off. I don't need a lot of these. I don't have a lot of room. And then I am going to put this up here and I'm going to cut this. And again, think about how long these are going to be in 10 minutes. So in a broiler, so you don't want to cut them super thin. Yeah. Um, or super thick, but, so, I'm cutting them on a diagonal, just because I think it's cute, but that's mm -hmm. just for my own taste, if you don't like that, and you cut them long way, or straight on circles, but, um, I'm going to do it like this, and I bought two, but I think one is enough, because some people don't like them, so now, I just have all my veggies in here, and I'm going to put some olive oil, which, of course, I don't have enough right here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some olive oil in them just to coat them nicely. I usually put my little, I use this big olive oil, and then I fill up a smaller bottle, so it's cheaper. 